Let's have a nice calm talk about Mr. Tate, shall we? Let's have a nice calm talk. See, what you've got to understand is with me, whoever steps in front of me, if you haven't had even half the heartache and hardship that I have, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Whoever it is, is going to lose. Seriously. And don't forget, you all see me on camera, untrained, smoking bare cannabis. I get into the ring with anybody. It's going to be 12 weeks of hardcore training, no cannabis. I will be Bronson up here when I step into that ring and I'll be able to punch for half an hour straight. Straight, non-stop. Good luck to whatever man wants to face this. Good luck to you, brah. Because I'm probably going to give you brain damage within the first minute. I will try and cave your skull in. Because in my mind, you took my son. Cunt. I don't think any man could ever fight me unless he's been through my kind of pain. If he's been through my kind of pain, then he may have a chance. If he has not been through my pain, he has no chance. And that is how it is, folks. Now, no, he hasn't been giving me abuse. He's been giving all women abuse all over the world. And I have a daughter and I have a wife. That's where my problem is with the guy. He calls them princesses one minute, but the next minute, if they step out of line, you'll punch the head and grab them around the throat and punch the head. He calls them princesses and women should be adored and respected and loved, yeah? Right? But then, if his missus wanted to go on OnlyFans, as long as he had total control over it, he'd let her go on OnlyFans. I.e. total control over the money, yeah? So he'd pimp his missus out. If my missus come to me and ask me to go on OnlyFans, I'd tell her to fuck off. I'd say, have you not got more respect for yourself? But she wouldn't do that because she would have more respect for herself. So that theoretical conversation between me and Tony would never happen. But to Andrew Tate... <clears throat> If his missus asked him to go on OnlyFans, he would say, no problem, babe. I'll let you go on OnlyFans, yeah? As long as I take all the money and I control it. That's a pimp. That's a pimp. So my man's saying he would pimp out his own missus. But you lot are following him, yeah? You lot are following him, yeah? But he would pimp out his own missus, folks. What do you mean I'm not talking facts here? I am talking facts. People have said to me, they've said to me since, don't forget, yeah, it might have been taken out of context. I've had things of mine taken out of context, so I know how it is. But now I know the backstory to it, yeah? If his missus pulled his shetty on him, he'd punt, he'd grab around the throat, yeah? Right, well, if you can get close enough to your missus to grab around the throat and punch her face in, you can get close enough to your missus to take the shetty off her, could yeah? You could just grab her wrist and take the shetty off her, couldn't you? Why are you going to grab her neck, cave her face in, and then grab her neck again? Basically try and kill your missus, yeah? Why you got to do that? If you can get that close to her to grab her neck, this is what you lot don't realise. I'm a clever man. I'm not like you lot. I'm not kids that can be, like, wheedled. And, you know what I mean? I'm not, I'm not a child. I've got a brain. So if you can get close enough to your missus who's got this shetty to you, yeah? To grab her by the throat, you can get close enough to grab her fucking wrist. And like you say, Tate, you're way stronger than any woman, yeah? So once you've got her wrist, how's she going to chop you, bro? Oh, no. No, no, no. But we'll go with bang, whack, 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 bang. Tell him what type of money is to even think like. You lot don't realise I'm very intelligent. You listen, I'm not saying all of you are dumb in here, but I'm telling you, a lot of people who follow Andrew Tate are absolutely daft as fuck. You lot are daft as fuck. Proper. I'm not even joking. You're daft as fuck. Do you know what I mean? A man is hypothetically talking about taking his sh shetty off his girlfriend with that much force that he caves her skull in. But he's harder than any woman in the world. He's already stated this, yeah? So why does he have to get to that extreme to take it off her? Think about that one. Think about that one. I'm not wrong about the man. You lot think I am, but I'm cleverer than you lot. I'm not wrong about the man. He's teaching our youth to basically use and abuse women. He's teaching our youth to become pimps. <laughs> Top G pimps, man. Wrong. Wrong. I am clever in a lot of my viewers, Capo. 
A lot of them. What do you mean? Of course I am. I'm clear. And that's not me being big-headed. That's just me being fucking straight. Do you have... Listen, do you people in this... In this do you have the knowledge I have? You've watched all my videos, right? Do you have my knowledge? Because if you don't, you're not as intelligent as me, are you? It's that simple, isn't it? And that, how, how intelligent is, uh, intelligence is, is, is measured? Knowledge, bro. Brain power. IQ. It's that simple, isn't it? And for you to follow a man like that and big him up, everybody who follows him and tries to make excuses for him talking about smashing a woman, for him talking about renting his missus out on OnlyFans, and don't forget how he got his money in the first place. He was seeing five women from all over the world, yeah? So he was seeing them, there was his girlfriends. He got them all to come to his studio and start dildoing themselves out on OnlyFans. That's how he earned his money originally, right? But he's a hero, isn't he? He's a hero. Of course, I'm a, listen, I'm aware, I'm aware now but I'm only aware now because I did go and watch it, right? Yeah, he's talking about if his missus picked up a shetty. There is other ways to disarm your missus of a shetty rather than punching her face in to cave her skull in and strangling her. It's that simple. And if your missus, that theoretical situation that he was talking about, you have never heard me talk about that. A, a, a theoretical situation where Tony is trying to kill me and I've got to cave her skull in. You've never heard me talk about anything like that. Because it wouldn't come to my brain. Because me and my wife love and respect each other. So why would it come to my brain? You lot don't understand, I swear. You need to psychoanalyze this dude. You need to proper look deep down in what he says and take the meaning behind the saying. Because a lot of you can't do it, I'm telling you. Do you know what I mean? So it's as simple as, simple as that, isn't it? Do you know what I mean, right? The fact of the matter is, yeah, if he is talking about punching women's heads in, for any reason, caving a face in of a woman, he's a wrong one. I don't give a fucking shit what any of you say. He sold his girlfriends on OnlyFans. He's a wrong one, man. Do you know what I mean? If his wife came to him, his wife, right, came to him and said, I want to go on OnlyFans, he would let his wife go on OnlyFans as long as he had control of the wedge, right? So at the end of the day, as far as I'm concerned... That's scummy behaviour. I would never let my wife do that. I love her too much to her to be showing all of her bits to the fucking world. I have more respect for her than that. She has a lot of respect for herself. She'd never do it. But if she didn't have that much respect, damn right I'd make sure that I had enough respect to make sure she wasn't doing it. I've seen loads of Andrew Tate. I've watched loads of stupid... What do you think I've watched one 15 minute one fifteen minute video? I've watched about four hours of the man. How do you think I know about all the stuff he speaks about that I agree with? Because listen, I don't disagree with everything the man says. I only disagree with Andrew Tate's views on women. Yeah? Because he has he is listen, he has no respect for women whatsoever. You may think he does. He may be able to backpedal in some of the stuff he says. He may be able to come on his last video with tears in his eyes, all acting all serious and that like he's about to cry. You know what I mean, right? And you all might feel sorry for him and sympathy. Do you know something? That video that he made, final video, yeah, right? He's so out of character, you should stop following him now. Because the fact of the matter is, my man's top G. Nobody can stop G, yeah? Top G, top G. Nobody can stop G, yeah? Top G, top G, right? And my man's nearly crying in that video. My man is holding back tears, mate. Do you know what I mean, right? So where's, his, where's the top G status? Top G in it, top G. No, no, totally out of character. He changed his character in that last interview because he realises the world hate him and he tried his best to make the world not hate him with that final interview, but it didn't work because the stuff you've said before is too late, mate. The stuff you've said before is too late. Do you know what I mean? And the thing is, yeah, <laughs> the thing is, I do agree with some of the things Andrew Tate says. I do. I agree with a lot of the things Andrew Tate says. I just do not agree with how he views women. And I never will. And I never can. Ever. Nobody can talk me into it. Nobody can talk me into this, trust me. Because my brain, yeah, is a very powerful brain. And it can see straight through people. Yeah? And I can see straight through that dude. Straight through that dude. Is he actually really like this in real life? I don't know. Because I don't know the man. I don't know the man. I personally think he's scum and he's an arsehole. Yeah? I don't hate him. That would be too much for me to say. Because I don't hate nobody. Yeah. Hate is a very strong emotion to have for somebody you've never met. 
in my opinion, you have to meet somebody and get to know them before you can either hate them or love them. You can't say you love somebody or hate somebody without knowing them. You know what I'm saying? But his ideals that he stands for, I do not disagree. I, I, I do not agree with. The ideals on women that he stands for, I do not agree with. And you lot may think that he thinks women are princesses, but any man who their misses or even talk about selling their misses on OnlyFans does not value women as princesses and queens. He does not, because he would never, ever, ever let that come out of his mouth. Listen, I'm a strong alpha male type of guy, yeah? But I know that even thinking about beating women is wrong. Even thinking about it. It. Even thinking about it is wrong. Yeah? So I don't. <laughs> it's that simple, I don't. But do I hate Andrew Tate? No, I don't. I don't hate the man because I don't know him well enough to hate him. I can't say I hate somebody who I haven't met. I can't do that because it's not within my character. I'm not like that. I'll never be like that. I can't be like that. Yeah? But do I dislike the man from what I've seen of him? Yes, I dislike him. From what I've seen of him, I dislike him. Right? But I don't hate Andrew Tate. I don't. Yeah, do you know something? It makes me laugh. Your mum, who gave birth to you, folks, yeah, Tate would sell on OnlyFans. <laughs> if that was his missus and he needed, like, if he lost all his money and he didn't have a Bugatti no more, do you think he wouldn't sell her? He fucking would. He'd sell my wife. So that's my opinion on the man. He views women as materialistic objects to use and abuse for whatever he needs in life. He's already openly said it. In Romania, he can buy officials off, right? He can buy the police off. So he can do what the fuck he wants, really. Yeah? I would hate to see... I would hate to actually know what that guy's actually done. I'll tell you that now. And for people coming in my chats... Saying I'm disappointed in you, Danny, I'm disappointed in you. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Do I look like I give a fuck? Do I? Do I honestly look like I give a fucking shit? Honestly. Nah. Don't give two fucks, mate. I don't give two fucks. Because that's who I am. That's just who I am. I do what I want. I say what I want. And I mean what I say. Yeah? And if you don't like it, don't fucking watch me. How about that one? I don't really give a fuck. I, I, I'd love to know how people who come in my YouTube content, I mean, come in my YouTube comments, think that your comment has any power over me whatsoever. It fucking doesn't. And most of the time when you come in comments, yeah, right? Most of the time, especially a lot of the comments I've read in about this video, right? Shows how shallow you are. I'm telling you that now, yeah? To disagree with the things I'm saying about this man. Shows how either unintelligent and daft you are or how shallow you are. So I couldn't give a fuck whether you watch me or not. I don't give a fuck. Do you think I care? I have, listen, I have thousands upon thousands of fans. Thousands. Yeah? What makes you think I need one more? I fucking don't. I am loved far more than Andrew Tate could ever be loved. Believe that. I know that for a fact. Because I'm a real man with a real family, with a wife and children who loves them immensely. I have a lot of love in this heart and a lot of compassion. But I'm also a Viking that will protect my family to the death. And everybody knows that about me. So that's why I'm loved. Because I am honest to myself. I am true to my morals. And I won't break them for no fucker. And that's what makes me Danny G, mate. I ain't like no Tate trying to get young kids to follow an ideology, trying to get young kids to buy a course. I ain't out there doing that. I ain't out there doing that, mate. Think about that one. I'm the realest motherfucker on this shit. So when I say something, you should really listen because it never comes from a 15-second video. It comes from research and studying the subject that I'm talking about. And you should all know that by now. And I have studied hours of this man. And I can tell you right now, he is a misogynistic bastard when it comes to women. Whether you believe it or not, that is what he is. That is what he is.
Good morning. Good morning. So, yeah, this was a quick conversation about Andrew Tate. I don't hate the man, but I don't like his personality. I don't hate him, but I don't like his values. Yeah, me and that man would never get on. Put it that way. We'd never get on because we are poles apart. He cares about money and what influence that can get him. I couldn't give two fucks about money. Yeah, right? So I don't give a shit about trying to buy influence. Do you understand? I don't need a Bugatti outside to get people to follow me. I don't need that. I don't need to have a private jet everywhere I go. I don't need to be dripping in million pound watches to make people think, oh my God, how amazing guy. No, I can just be me. Sat in my yard, not rich, don't, don't drive a Bugatti, yeah? Have a normal wife and a normal family and I am loved. Loved. Way more than he is. And I have a lot more respect than what he does. And I have a lot more morals than what he does. But I'm also a hyper-strong individual, mentally and physically. Me and that guy are very similar in many ways. Do you know that? It's a shame, such a shame that Andrew Tate has his opinion on women that he has. Because in other ways, we are similar. I can see myself in him in many ways. But then there's loads of other ways where I can see, nah, 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 nah. Now, he's got, he's got parts of me in him, but he's got parts of something that I don't like in him. And that's what it is between me and Andrew Tate. I don't hate the guy, though. I don't wish no bad on him, no ill on him. Yeah? I don't want him to get hurt or anything. I don't want anything bad to happen to him. Because there is probably a lot of people in this world now who fucking hate him. Yeah? But my advice to Andrew Tate would be to stay the fuck off social media. Or if you do manage to get yourself back on social media, mate. Yeah? You need to curb what you say. You need to curb what you say, mate. If you don't mean this shit, don't say it. Don't say stuff you don't mean. Do you know what I mean? Seriously. Like, if my man was pissed out of his face when he was saying this shit, or he was wrecked or something on bare class A's or whatever, yeah? I would, listen, whatever. But he wasn't. He doesn't take drugs. He doesn't really drink. So my man was straight-headed as fuck when he said all that crazy madness. Think about that one. My man was absolutely... Like, copus mentum. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He was literally, literally in total control of what he was saying and what he was doing. Do you know what I mean, right? And listen, selling women. <laughs> because whether you pimp them out on the street or not, right? Whether you put them on the, on the corner of the road or whether you put them on OnlyFans, yeah? In my opinion, it's prostitution. Do you know what I'm saying? So I could never be a pimp. Ever. I could never do it. I could never take money for men fucking a woman that I know. Because that would be me totally disrespecting female kind. If that woman wants to do it herself, fine. That's up to her, right? But for me, for a man to earn money off a woman having sex or, or showing the act of having sex with a dildo...